name is Felipe Van Winkle, and I helped set up the launch so it could be ready to go in the air and then land. Uh, my name is Jeremy Farella, and I was the one who attached um, all the components to the payload for the balloon. My name is Tony Calistro, and during the balloon launch, I just took pictures. The morning of Saturday, we got the weather balloon set out, aired it up, and when it was being aired up, we put everything in the box so we knew it was ready to go when it was ready for launch. Um, it was mostly setting up the payload so it will calculate the positions and it will track where it goes in the field. There was a lot of trial and error. The weather conditions necessary for the launch, well it couldn't be too windy. Um, it had to be a clear um, day. No, it just had to be like Goldilocks. The day of launch I was kind of excited but I wasn't really expecting too much because I've never done it before. But in the end it was pretty fun. Um, I'm surprised it went up so fast and that it, um, how big it got, it reached 90 something thousand feet and then it popped. My reaction to the blue launch, I felt very excited. The process of checking out the package was we attached a little GPS signal to it. Um, two cars uh, full of kids went over. We had many trackers in there. They died, so we didn't know where the balloon was, and we had to, we used a website that was going to track the flight path of the balloon. In general, if you want to do something unique that we have never done before, like the weather balloon launch that we might be doing at the end of the year for sure next year, it's a cool site. The preparation of the whole thing was amazing, and tracking the package down was pretty cool. So it's just interesting, and nobody else has done it before. We're the first class to do it. Uh, I think actually in all of Nebraska we're the first ones to do it, so uh, it was fun. Easy A.